cherry tomatoes, crispy bacon and a fried egg because we couldn't poach the eggs today. Well, good morning, everybody. We finally made it here. And last night was a bit interesting. Let's have a chat to you about what happened last night. Uh, so we arrived yesterday. We got here in good time. Uh, the trip up here was fine, um, all, including all 7,813 potholes. <laughs> um, lots of slow moving traffic idiots on the Fosway which needed to get in front of the caravan because you know that's the law if you ever see a caravan you must overtake it clearly no matter the consequence there plenty of that didn't we yeah our first night last night how did you get on in the bed fine but it's usually night three that I have an issue so usually what happens is by night three Angela is aching with her hips and her back um, because the beds were always in the caravan, always a bit stiff. Yeah. And it doesn't matter in the caravan that we've had, it's always been that case. So by night three, Angela is moaning um, and struggling to walk around because she's, you know, seized up. Um, you suffer from sciatica for yeah. many, many years. Uh, since Tom, since, since 25 years now. That's true. And also other compounded back problems as well, slip yeah. discs, uh, prolapse disc. So um, I've had the first four slit discs from the base of the spine upwards. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So she's an absolute delight to uh, live with. <laughs> um, meanwhile, on my side of the camp, I'm absolutely physically fine, aren't I? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I damaged my ankle whilst filling up the water yesterday. So <laughs> Compensating for the damaged knee. Because so, I've cracked my knee, I've damaged my knee somehow. It's just really aching bad. Um, uh, I got that from my father, I think. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> and and whilst I was hobbling yesterday with my knee, I twisted my ankle whilst filling up the aqua roll. So I looked like, well, I looked like a zombie, like walking like in a really <laughs> stupid way. But uh, so that was yesterday. Last night was absolutely fine. Although we did have a little bit of a disaster. Now, in our washroom, we have this lovely thing. We have a heated towel rail. Let's just take the towel off so you can see it. And it's lovely, except yesterday I noticed it was cold on the top, hot on the bottom. No problem, I thought. I'll just bleed the air out of the system using this bleed key, which I did. And a heck of a lot of air came out. A good chunk of air came out. And then the pink juice then started to flow lovely. And sure as eggs is eggs, that then started to fill up. Um, and it was very hot on the top. Problem solved. On the way back through to the living room, I thought I'd just check in on the fluid. And that fluid level was gone. You could barely see it just at about this level here. To which I thought, oh dear. Oh dear indeed. And that was a big problem. Because the next thing that happened was this. The furnace which is under there and the pump for the uh, the outer heating then started gurgling and was sucking in air. What happened is whilst I had bled the radiator out and got rid of a lot of air, all the glyco had basically filled up that extra void where all the air was and had dropped into a very dangerously low area to the point where the pumps were now sucking in air into the system. So we thought we weren't going to have any heating or hot water last night because we can't obviously run the pump whilst it's not pumping glycol around the system. But thankfully, a quick Google around online, I found a local caravan service engineer and I basically explained the problem. And I said, do you have any glycol that I can buy off of you? He said, yes, but you need to come to me. So we set off for a journey down to Gloucester uh, about 6.30 last night set off down to see him and indeed he was an absolute star and he sold us a bottle of glycol 50 50 mix he told us how to build it up and so i made up a liter of that stuff poured it in and it took the entire lot and as you can see from there it's only halfway up so by the time we got back it was a good nine o'clock at night we were both absolutely shattered we sorted that out we bled the system again because there was more air in it because obviously the pump had been sucking in air we bled the system out, we went through all the radiators, and it's absolutely fine, thankfully. And last night it kept us toasty warm, and, and it's been great. Um, that's the disaster over and done with. So that was last night, and today we're now going to head off up to uh, Morton Marsh in the town. We're going to have a mooch about, maybe get ourselves a cup of tea, or coffee, or a pint. And, uh, and that'll be us today. I think I'll give you a quick tour around this site because it's really lovely. We've been here once before 
a long time ago. Very long time ago. Did we work it out? Was it 2016? It was around that sort of time. Chloe was still small. Yeah. I'll put up some pictures from yeah. that now because something quite unusual happened to us when we were here before. Uh, somebody was walking around with a bird of prey round sight. Mm. Really odd. And I managed to get some photos of him um, and uh, it was a really odd thing. We were camped over the other side of this site yeah. and this has changed quite a bit since we were last here. Um, in fact, on our way out, let's go walk by them and I'll show you what I mean. What bloody idiot part like that. Massive pitch though, as you can see, but because we're on the corner, people like to kick in here a little bit so that's why i put the car like that but uh very nice nice view this morning of a very frosty field I must admit for the end of january and for the weather we've had recently this is lovely you know this campsite was completely full last night and again tonight i believe so you can just see there through the trees all the lodges here for experience freedom I'm not going to have a closer look at these because the last time we were here, that was the dog walking area, I think, or a playground or a play field. There was none of this here. So I want to go and have a closer look at these things because I personally think these are a fantastic addition. So I'm guessing these are yurts. Must be. And then we've got safari tents. Yeah. And then we've got the... Kids Adventure Playground. Kids Adventure Playground. That's a good playground. Mm. Nothing like the playgrounds I had when I was a kid. Can you remember the slides that were 4,000 feet tall and that, <laughs> that cone of death, the witch's hat, was it? Called it a roundabout? Th oh my oh, God, yeah. lethal on bare concrete and broken glass. <laughs> <laughs> now, I don't know what you guys think. I think these are a great addition to the great outdoors. Mm. It means that people who don't own a caravan or a motorhome can experience the great outdoors. It means that if you want to go on holiday with a member of the family who want to be with you, but there's not enough room in the caravan or the motorhome, then you can hire out one of these. I think these are fantastic. So the reason why I've been switched on to these recently is a couple of weeks ago, I got an email through from the Caravan Motorhome Club, basically saying that they've now got a new membership for Experience Freedom only which means that they get all the benefits that the caravan motorhome club members get it's the same price per year but it's not tuned towards um caravans and motorhomes which you know if if you haven't got one you're not inclined to be really that interested so an experience freedom membership gives you all the benefits of getting one of these things at a discounted price tent pitch at discounted price hiring of vehicles it's really tuned for people who haven't got an outfit themselves but want to experience the great outdoors well as luck would have it warden's just come around to clean one of the units and he's opened this one up for us so we can actually have a look inside so let's have a look inside how many people do these hold is it four yeah. four so yeah. this is a four berth four berth these hold four occupants so we've got a tv over here these make up into the double beds, is that right? Yeah, yeah, I'll show you. Oh, thank you. That's all right, I've got to get it down anyway. Yeah. Oh my word, that's legendary. That's fantastic. Thank God there wasn't a dead body in there, right? Eh? Yeah, exactly. You know, you yeah. never know what you find, do you? <laughs> so that's a double bed, that's fantastic. Yeah. You've got USB points all the way around. Yeah, yeah. Brilliant. You've got my uh, single bed up the top yeah. there yeah. and that one obviously converts into a bed down here yeah this one is is it just a pull-out job right yeah 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 that's neat we've got a small oh, kitchen there. we've got a couple of oh, boilers yeah, no, uh, a couple of boilers in a sink okay it's not huge but is there a microwave down here uh just behind you oh yeah 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 so there is a microwave behind me so compact and bijou but look everything that you need to make a quick meal i mean really you're gonna be doing this outside aren't you and then you've got a shower here, oh, yeah. huge shower, storage for luggage and bits and bobs, a full loo and a sink. I think it's a fantastic, I really do. Well, that was lovely. That was nice yeah. to have a look around, wasn't it? it Let's was. get you in the shop. There we are. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So um, 
So yes, yeah, so I got an email about all of this. Yes. And I've looked into that. Chloe is joining because she wants to come and spend time in a pod yep. up here. Obviously, we're going away in a pod with her later on in the year. Yeah. But she wants to come up here and uh, spend some time with us on another site. So this would be perfect for us. Yeah. So she gets I'm, her own space. Yeah. I'm going to put details of Experience Freedom down below because I think if you're away and you want members of family or friends to come with you. Yeah. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Um, and they offer a specific membership just for people who want to go glamping. Yeah. Perfect. Right. Let's come and walk into town then, shall we? Yep. Parched. Could do with a cup of tea. <laughs> There are countless videos of people walking into Morning Marsh from the campsite. I don't think I'll bother. But we'll pick up when we're in town, I think, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Right, we've just been in here and we picked up some pillow spray, lavender pillow spray for the caravan. Yes, that would make it smell a bit nicer in the bed area. <laughs> we used to have one in the old one, didn't we? Yes. God knows where that went. Probably used. Yeah. Anyway, let's go and find ourselves something to eat, drink, I should say, not eat, drink. Right, I think we're going to try this place simply because I've seen the lardy cake. So we've gone in for the um, hot lardy cake, cup of tea, you've had a coffee, yeah, but also a lardy cake. Yeah, I've had one little bit <laughs> and it is glorious, glorious. <laughs> so, mm, I've got boxes full of those. Yeah. And I've got boxes full of these. Nice. <laughs> Upstairs. Ah. And the box brownie. Mm, oh, yeah, bad that one. Mm. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Something what? you haven't got. What do I need? Something right there. You haven't got one of them. No, nope, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Give it time. Oh, I've got my grand peas, one of those somewhere yeah. as well. Can't remember where I've put that. Oh, um, too much. Yeah, the waves. My mum had loads of those. Your snuffle boxes. Yeah. The pencils for bridge. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. Pillbox. Ideal for your aspirin and paracetamol. Yeah. Cool. This is the stuff that attracts me. One vehicle in particular I'm after. And it's not here. And it's not here. <laughs> it's a Lesney D-Type Green. That means a whole lot of memories for me and I don't know where that car is. That little toy, I had that when I was a boy. That's the one I'd really like to get back again. Mm. Mm. Just went into the uh, Cotswold Cheese uh, shop and all I can say is thank God I'm skin because I would have spent a fortune in there. There are some lovely things and they had stinking bishop in there as well. Yeah. That wouldn't have gone well in the caravan. Yeah. Yes, because we would have bought what? Loads of meat. A lot of meat. Yeah. Some of the uh, chutneys. Chutneys, because they have some nice ones there. The toasts. Yeah. Oh, they had a pot of uh, gentleman's relish there as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, and that would have been beautiful. And then they had some nice port. Yeah. Well, you drink port, I don't. <sighs> well, no, I don't drink port. I'm given the dregs of the bottle of the very expensive port by my friends. Yeah. And they let make me neck it. And it's literally like a red powder. <laughs> James. <laughs> And then they sit there laughing at me because I'm going, this is gross. Yes. <laughs> so anyway, thank God for poverty. That <laughs> just saved my waistline a bit more. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, we're going back to the van now. 
and uh, you're going to read. Yeah. I might play some games. Yeah, we're just going to chill out. Again. After you, sweet. Thanks. So, whilst I was shopping in Audi for all the other bits and bobs, I bought myself a bottle of wine, uh, Chili on Merlot. Uh, very nice it's going down super well and because I don't drink anymore I've had one glass and I'm feeling a little bit fruity like a pro I've cut up some cheese so it looks like grated cheese to go on top of the lasagne <laughs> and we're having a bag of salad with tomatoes tonight right? yes that'd be fine yeah I've got some balsam vinegar yeah I know we've already oh that yeah one. okay am I repeating myself you are did I tell you I've got some shut up <laughs> Perfect. We did this before, didn't we? We did this in, um, was it Lady Margaret's we did this? Yes. Yeah, we did this before and it worked out so well. Yeah. That I just pre-made a lasagne bolognese a few days before. But what we did is we actually made it at home. Yeah. 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 And then just brought it with us. Yeah. So I made it at home. I made a big batch of it so that the kids at home could literally have something to eat. Well, what you've done is you gave them the bolognese, bolognese. And they're actually going to turn it into a spag bowl, I think. Yeah. Or a pasta bake or something, something like, like that. that yeah. 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 And then we're having lasagne. There we go. And in the oven it goes. Very interesting. Bye. Beautiful. <laughs> I'm not sure that's going to go. <laughs> I'm just getting off the edges first. Can I ask you what's your first impressions of the oven? Actually, it's not bad. It's a lot it better. It's taken a bit of time to cook this. Yeah. Okay. It's taken us a good hour. An hour? Yeah. Was I really on the phone to Mac that long? No, because it was in the oven before then, remember? Okay. Come on, that looks fantastic, doesn't it? Homemade lasagna. Bago salad with a bit of balsamic from Aldi. Little, Yeah. Whatever. Crikey. <laughs> what a dinner. And that's the last of the bottle of wine. And I can't go. <laughs> So I go like that, okay? Okay, I can't go, so I have to do that, okay? Mm -hmm. I'll go again. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I still can't go, mm. okay? Mm. I mean, okay. but the cards. Do not shuffle properly again. Right, and then I'll go. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I can't go because I don't have a fight. <laughs> <Okay>. Seriously. <laughs> this is going to end up a big deck. Okay. Hmm. Can you go yet? Green. Green? That's fine. I can do green. Okay. Pick up two. Okay. I cheated that round, didn't I? Yeah. I probably not playing the rules to the best of my ability. I probably missed. No, there's a card on the floor. It's just oh, that's awesome. I'm probably not doing as the best I could, but you know what? A win's a win. A win's a win. You know, <laughs> a win's a win. See, you couldn't take it when I won the first. One. Listen, Argentina won the World Cup back in whatever it was with Maradona and the hand of God. <laughs> I that was the hand of God right there. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Right, and I think we're going to call it a night here then. It is now almost 8.30. Um, Angela's going to watch her casualty, much to the delight of everybody else. Such a wonderful programme that, isn't it? So, Angela's going to watch casualty. I'm going to put my headphones on and I'm going to play some racing games on my Steam Deck. Yeah. And, uh, and then we'll probably go and turn in for the evening. So that'll be us done today. I don't know if I'm going to film much tomorrow, probably not. But if I do, well, you'll see us in the morning. Anyway, no night from us. Bye-bye.